Hi, Lee Phillips again. Yeah, I want to talk to you a minute about do I really need to redo my estate plan if I get divorced? And the answer is yeah. Most of the states will say that if I have a will, then it's not going to be valid after I get divorced. The Living Revocable Trust could go on. It doesn't usually talk about a divorce. So you need to go in and you need to redo the Living Revocable Trust. Obviously, you're going to make it so that it's a single person living revocable trust instead of a married couple's living revocable trust. And those documents are very different. But you need to not only go in and redo your trust, you need to redo the will. Uh, you probably don't want your ex on as the agent under your durable power of attorney. So all of this needs to be redone. It's going to take some more estate planning after the divorce. You, you, you need to do it. And you need to check things like Who's the beneficiary on my IRA or my 401k? And I've seen it where the ex is 10 years later still the beneficiary on the IRA or the 401k. Who's the beneficiary of the life insurance policy? And if you don't go in and make a change of beneficiary on the life insurance policy, your ex is going to get it when you die. And that might not be what you want at that point. So you need to check these ancillary things and make sure that the ex's name is off as a beneficiary for the retirement accounts, the benefit accounts, uh, all of that sort of stuff, the life insurance. You're going to have to go in and take the ex's name off the deed to the house. Usually that will require a court order. If you don't get the court order, the mortgage company is going to say, <coughs> you sold the house. We can keep the mortgage. The problem is your ex's name is going to be on the mortgage with you. You can't get the ex's name off of the mortgage. The mortgage company will not remove it. The divorce decree will say that uh, you have to buy the ex out in so many years. And you're going to have to refinance is what it amounts to in order to get the ex's name off of the house. So that's always a problem. But generally, your estate planning in a divorce has got to be redone. You are not a married person. You're not married to that guy anymore, which all of your estate plan talks about. So you're going to be a single person now. You're going to have to do single estate planning. Uh, very different than couples estate planning. If you get remarried, you're going to have to do it again. The lawyers love you, sweethearts. Uh, we just love to read all those estate plans every every time you get divorced and married. It's it's great 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 business for us. So just remember in the back of your mind, I'm getting divorced. Yeah, I need to do the estate plan over again, and I need to check on all of these things and make sure that my ex still isn't part of my financial life in that respect. Lee Phillips. Now get the uh, get how to use my trust. And we'll go through some of that. And also, make sure you subscribe and press the button and ding and, and, and give us a like and all of that sort of stuff. Actually, I love doing these YouTube videos. So if you have a topic that you'd like to hear about, please email us and we can maybe address that type of topic for you. Lee Phillips talking about, do I need a new estate plan when I get divorced?